we have a six month relative rotation graph. So again, this is Julius de Kempner's um, sort of a baby here, and it, it's a really excellent way to visualize data and for us relative strength data as it pertains to the sectors. So we've taken the S&P 500 sector indices versus the S&P 500 itself, and that will uh, show you the trajectory. So think of those it, the kind of comets that you see as moving around the middle with a trailing history in a clockwise manner. So if we were to animate this chart, which I wish I had the ability to do, so maybe he can help you, um, you know, you want to basically be when they're pointing up and to the right. So that's pretty easy to remember because when that's happening, that's where you have a relative performance that's positive and also gaining momentum. So you can follow these rotations in the market. It really, um, to me, it, it suggests that, or not suggests, but it affirms that there is cyclicality on the sector front. And you can apply this kind of work to other asset classes. You can apply it to countries. You can apply it to different segments of fixed income, um, and you'll still see cyclicality. You can apply it to individual stocks within, say, the semiconductor sector, and you'll see it there too. So it's really pretty fascinating, in my opinion. Now, notice in the, the lagging quadrant, we have consumer discretionary, communication services, and tech. But they're advancing. They're, they have a trajectory that would suggest over the next, say, I would get, guess maybe two to three months, we should see them start to outperform again after a corrective phase. So if we were to take a six-week view of this same rotation, it would look almost exactly the opposite, where the defensive sectors of the market should outperform near term. So the positive traje trajectories are behind consumer staples, utilities, healthcare, um, so you can see the trend there, even energy. Um, so we're, we're looking for that counter trend move to then give way to rotation back into what are typically the more offensive sectors of the market.